on a baby walk across our neighborhood, finding bunnies and birds. Baby Declan. That's right. Just ripped off the Baby Einstein song. Coats did. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? He's so excited to be out for a walk. Car, baby, car. Do you see the car? Car? What do you think of that? You like cars? Pretty much does. It's overcast this week. Um, it's the perfect week to get out and go for walks. Now, there's not a lot of breeze, so I do have like bug spray on it or whatever, which I don't like putting on. I don't like chemicals. And I'm going to pretend like that's the reason I don't have makeup on lately. Yeah. I mean, it used to be. I used to want to try and be as natural as possible um, because I just felt like it was gunking at my skin and causing problems. But I actually think that's probably more hormonal. So, anyway. <laughs> care about that. In other news, a restaurant that I really liked when we moved down here, um, not even a restaurant, it's like a fast food place, closed down and I was totally bummed about it. Um, but all I can say is my wonderful husband called to find out what in the world they're building there because they've been working on like revamping the facade and the insides, I guess, for whatever's coming. People... They're putting in a Krispy Kreme down the street pretty much from us. I mean, it's not actually down the street, but it's really close. And I'm so excited. I completely forgive them, first of all. Second of all, this is going to be both epically wonderful and epically bad. Like, so bad. Like, I'm going to have to stop eating all other food, pretty much. Because Krispy Kreme donuts are wonderful. But more wonderful than that is the fact that they turn on a light every day to let you know when they have warm donuts. That's right, you can get warm donuts straight off the glazing conveyor belt. I think they even pass them out when you're in line. It's like Donut Disney World. P.S. Disney World, if you're watching, we would love to vlog from Disney World. Yeah, we would. So if you want to just like, you know, show up on our doorstep with like a free trip, that would be so fun. My husband really deserves it. He works really hard. And he doesn't come home and unload all his troubles on Jeff, on Declan and I. Even though he he bears that burden pretty much on his own. And um, I really appreciate him. And there's really no way for me to convey that except for trying to keep the house peaceful. I was actually thinking about that last night. That You know, I'm not really... I mean, I like domestic things, but... And I'm particular, but I'm not like I used to be. I think ever since I had some things happen. Well, anyway, I had some big things happen in my life over the years that kind of mellowed me out and um, it made me care less about the things that eat your time up. But that also means that I don't get the kind of stuff done that I used to because I don't stress out about it. I stress out about other things like Declan or whatever. But um, anyway, what am I rambling about? I love my husband. And he deserves a wonderful trip somewhere, and I don't really know how to make that happen. Except for that I did open an Etsy shop. Um, and I calculated it to pay for like a really awesome trip every year, because that's kind of why I'm doing it, is so that we'll have disposable income. Um, I really only have to make like 10 bucks a day, like 70 bucks a week. So I only have to sell like two things a week. And I can totally make almost one thing every day. Like I can't really make one thing every day. Not every day, like some days I'm just... I don't have time, or he, he doesn't cooperate, and not your fault, babe. But, um, I could totally do that, and I actually have been really enjoying making things, because, car! Because it's like an outlet, and, you know, if you're a mom, you know, you don't really have, like, a lot of outlets. Like, I don't even, I can't even, like, take a bath every day. I take a shower sometimes, but, like, every day, but I don't ever take a bath anymore. I don't read for pleasure. I drink my coffee kind of my little joy and I'm I try and enjoy things with Declan like we're taking a walk or like if I have to rock him because he won't sleep any other way I just like take some deep breaths and make that my time to relax too because it is and I realize I won't always get to rock him and I'm really gonna miss it when it's gone you know my sister-in-law and brother talk about that bit the kids they just grow up and um it's an it's an important time frame that you get to snuggle them like you that we should really enjoy it and I'm trying to 
but it's also kind of exhausting to be the most important person in the world to someone. In fact, their whole world. Like, he doesn't even have, like, faith in God yet. He doesn't understand any of that. So, we are his whole world, and it's a big responsibility. Um, anyway, leave some comments about the parenting books. I'm still interested in that. And um, definitely go check out the Etsy shop we have. I want to start blogging again, but I really haven't had much to blog about. I decided that blogging the vlog every day, that's very time consuming. And you guys can watch what we did, so you don't really need me to write about it. But I may start blogging like other stuff that we do, um, like when we do fun stuff. So you guys can see that. Like pictures. Like I, I needed to post some pictures from Declan's birthday party. That kind of stuff. Um, anyway, hope you're having a fabulous Friday, wherever you are. Of course, it'll be Saturday when you see this, or after. And, um, yeah, we're thinking about y'all. What are you doing, cutie? Oh, do you have a ball in a box? Is that a good day? Can you throw the ball? Throw the ball! Can you throw it? Oh, you can touch that, huh? Mommy's card holder. Throw the ball. You get a dance? Dance, baby! Dance! Dance! He's having a lovely time. It's actually very much nap time right now, but... <sighs> His first time didn't go very well, so we'll see how this one goes. Baby, let's read some books. She's obsessed. It's like, I'm going to play with this. What I want to do, ma'am. I want to play with this. And I want to take a nap. Now it's served for baby. So now I'm not a baby. I'm thinking about that, because um, he's one now. I've been reading that a lot of one-year-olds score to one nap. And so instead of him going down at, um, like, ten-ish, and three-ish is what he's been doing. I think I may change it so he just has an afternoon nap. And I, because he is not sleeping well. Well, at night, you know, like he is sleeping well at night. Like he sleeps great with us, but I can't get him to sleep well in his crib. And he was like, like I'd put him down at eight or nine-ish and he would sleep till like 12 or one and sometimes till two, I like hate very occasionally. And, um, all of a sudden, he just stopped. Now he wakes up like at 10, and we can't get him back to sleep in his bed. I just think that's because he's not sleeping. He's not tired enough to sleep soundly by himself. Instead, he's like waking up so often that like it was like every hour, hour and a half, I had to go in there and put him down, put him down, put him down. And it was exhausting for Dusty and I. And since he's still waking up at 10-ish, 10.30, like last night, he almost went to 11. I think he's still getting too much sleep during the day. He sleeps great for at least one of his naps usually, but um, lately I've been having to hold him for one or both of the naps, so I just think he's getting too much sleep. Baby, those books are there because you're not supposed to touch them. These are the books with the special pages for the really big boys. Speaking of big, big boys and big girls, um, I did set up to be a, a caregiver on a website today, like, just people in, like, basically our neighborhood, because I think there's a lot of people that need, like, after-school care for their kids, and, um, anyway, so if I do something like that, that will kind of cut into our film time, because, ah, the book that must be eaten, um, because I absolutely cannot film someone else's children, so, um, do not eat that, but I think it will just kind of be, you know, after school, and then some of date nights for people, because, my goal is, like I said, when I stopped, set up the Etsy account, was you know, I want to earn a little bit of extra money for vacation every year for us because Jesse works really hard and he I love that he works so hard for us, but I don't like that he has such a burden. Hey, no, we're not eating it. Did you get a piece? You better not have. You chewing? I think you're chewing a little. I don't know. I didn't feel anything. Jeez Louise. I'm going to just have to take this book away. See, like, every time I take it away, it like, gets a little chunk. Yeah, definitely hire me to take care of the kids. Anyway, I love kids. We'll see what happens. Mommy likes that you like that book, but I don't like that you like to eat it. You love that book? 
Is it the best book ever? Hey, Bases. You like your eye, Bases? Big A, little A, what begins with A? And Annie's alligator. Oh, you like the donuts and the duck dog? Real quick. Fiffer, feffer, feff? What? Yeah? Well, anyway. Don't eat it. Barbara Baby Bubbles. Bubba Buzz. Little bee. Just throw it on the ground. It's cool. Whatever. He just woke up from his nap, and there's a surprise, buddy. Where's Papa? Oh yeah? Who's that? Hi there. I told you. How about that? I told you. Hey, let's play. He you ready to play? Woke up and he had some milk and I said, do you want to see Papa? And he turned around like, where is he? And I was like, come on, buddy. It's Stein's cake. If you guys don't know what Stein's is, you probably don't. You have to be from Dallas. They make amazing cakes, and he brought me a pedophore, like a, it's like a little cake. And then he brought stuff for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> Friday! My baby boy is so excited to see him, it was adorable. We love our papa around here. Playing catch with his daddy and this papa out of the papa. You're so cute. Where are you going? Is it nice to have daddy home? Oh no, the sock, not the sock. I know where it hasn't been. No, they haven't been worn yet. It's okay. They're clean. No, the sock. The sock. What do you have been wearing? The sock's going to get you. He's more interested in what's his car. Sort of. He knows he's back there now. Because from earlier, he's like, mm. What? What are you eating, buddy? Papa? Don't go head first in there. You see him? He's leaning a bit. Yeah, I got it, man. <clears throat> so these things going backwards. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What's happening? We got some cannolis. Cannolis. We're at Joe's Pizza. We convinced Papa to come. And we ordered a fourth one, which we're probably going to take home. But we're going to be